everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Evie. It's lovely to meet you and thanks for joining us today. If you're not new here, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very special makeup review because I'm reviewing Dior makeup. Now Dior is very very well known for luxurious silhouettes, high fashion, luxury handbags but how does their beauty and makeup products fare? Well in today's video I'm going to be testing a range of different products from foundation to highlighter to eyeshadow to lipsticks so without further ado let's get into the review. I didn't mean to rhyme but that was very poetic of me. I'm going to start with the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. I have the shade 1.5N, which I find is a lovely shade for me, um, but you may find you want something different. There is a skin colour tester AI tool on their website, which is quite useful to help you match your shade when you're shopping online. So do check that out if you haven't already. I'm going to apply it with a simple foundation brush that is not from Dior, it's a general brush. This is the foundation. You can get this foundation in more of a matte finish. This is the Skin Glow, so you will find that it's more of a glowy finish, which I actually prefer much more than the matte. I think my skin generally can go quite dry rather than shiny or oily. It tends to go on the more sensitive and dry spectrum. So to have more of a glowy foundation really works for me, but you may find for your skin type you prefer the matte. It's worth trying both if you can. So I'm just going to apply that all across my face. You can see it's quite a easy foundation to apply. You generally need a little bit rather than a lot, which is good. It means that it lasts longer for your money, you'll get your value. I'm going to apply it all down my chin and neck so that it's nicely blended as well. We don't want any harsh lines of where I haven't applied foundation to show. love how glowy this is. So as you can see this foundation has a really good coverage. I have quite a few little tiny freckles on my face from the summer months and when I went on holiday. They're not massive, they're tiny, but generally a good coverage test is to see how well they are, they are covered and they look pretty covered to me. I mean they don't bother me at all, it's not like I go out to cover them, uh, but I can see that this has a really good coverage. The consistency of it is very light on the skin. It doesn't feel cakey at all. It's very, very comfortable to wear, very lightweight. Next up, I'm going to be adding a highlighter to my face. So I'm going to use the Dior Backstage Face and Body Glow. This is a liquid highlighter, so I've just given it shape to make sure it's all nicely mixed. I just popped a little bit of my hand. It is very, quite runny, I would say, in terms of a formula. Um, and I just pat on with my finger across the area that I want to highlight, which for me is always the top of my cheekbones, along my brow bone, and above my brow, on my forehead. little bit on my chin as well and then in the corner of my eyes. I will show you a bit more of the highlighter step two which will be the powder step uh, for highlighting later on in the video but for now I'm going to sculpt my face using the contour palette from Dior Backstage. Now this palette does actually have two highlighters and two contour bronzers but I'm just going to use the bottom two contour bronzers for today's video. I'm going to go in first with the lighter shade just because I don't want to go too heavy to start with. If I need to build on it I will but I'm just using a simple fluffy brush just to get the product going. I'm going to blow off any excess and then we're going to start with contouring the cheek so in that area there and I'm going to work it up 
towards my forehead. This is such a beautiful product. It really is such a lovely color. And then I just got along the jawline as well for some extra definition. Okay, so next up I'm going to show you the highlighter part two, which is using this beautiful dual backstage glow face palette. And this has four lovely highlighters on that you can use. Um, I'm going to select the goldy one here at the top. Um, I think that one will be so pretty for today's look, but obviously you can mix them up, you can try different ones. I'm just going to use a simple highlighter brush here. I'm just going to again warm up the brush with circling the product and get all the product nicely on the brush. Blow off any excess because we don't want it to be too heavy. It always feels sad to like rub your brush in these products when they're so nicely printed with the Dior logo. It always like hurts my heart a little bit. <laughs> I'm just going to apply the powdered highlighter where we applied the liquid highlighter. That is along the top of the cheekbone, along the brow bone, above the brow, and then down the nose, and a little bit on the cheek as well. On the chin, sorry, not on the cheek. Next, I'm going to start on the eyes, and we have this gorgeous Dior Backstage custom eye palette. It's just got everything you need in here. In today's video, I'm just going to stick to using the shadows. So I'm going to use the primer here just to prime my eyelids, which is this nude gel-like formula. And I'm just going to apply it using my little finger all across the lid. This just gives it a really nice but even base. Using an eyeshadow primer will also help keep your eyeshadow in place for longer. So for today's video, I'm going to use a lovely brown shimmery goldy look for my eyeshadows. So I'm going to use the taupe, the kind of goldy brown here, and then the darker brown. And also I'm going to use this gold top coat to add a real shimmer to the look. I'm just going to pop that along the eyelid, but not the inner corner, just over the majority of it but not that in a corner. Now I'm going to use the gold tone here just to add a nice warm shimmery tone to the eyeshadow. And then I'm going to use the darker brown tone just to give some definition along the outer corner of my eye. A little bit of tidying up to do, so I'm just going to dab on the white colour with my fingertip and then pop it in the inner corner of my eye to give a little bit of brightness again. It is more of a smoky eye look, so it doesn't hurt just to add a little bit of lightness as well. And then I'm going to do the same just along my brow bone. So you could use an eyeshadow brush for this. Generally, I have a habit of using my fingers uh, because I find it the easiest way. <laughs> I'm just going to use the Dior Show Maximizer 3D Triple Action Lash Primer Serum and this goes on before your mascara and it's supposed to make your eyelashes look even more lengthened, hold the curl really well and look more volumized as well so it's a really good product to put on prior to your proper mascara. And 
then I will put on my mascara. Now this mascara isn't a Dior mascara, I apologise. I don't have a Dior mascara to show you in today's video, but if I do do another one of this type, then obviously I will try and include a Dior mascara to show you. Love, love, love how my eyelashes look. Really like long and volumized. They just look so much better than they did before. And finally, to finish up today's makeup look, I'm going to use my favorite lipstick in the world. I mean, it's even got my name on it. Um, it's the Dior Rouge Dior lipstick in shade 219 Rose Montagna. The good thing about these lipsticks is you can get them personalised and engraved with your name on the official website, but you can also, when the, uh, when the lipstick is run out, you can also get a refill to just pop in so you keep your case with your name on, which I think is so lovely and it's actually more affordable than buying a brand new lipstick. So I'm just going to apply that all over my lips and you'll see it's a gorgeous natural colour, which is so pretty. Just to note on this, the formula of it is so lightweight and so nourishing and so hydrating. I really, really love wearing this because it feels like satin on my lips. Really, really comfy to wear all day and it doesn't smudge, doesn't dry out your lips. It's just perfect formula to wear. So there we have it. That is today's Dior Beauty makeup review of some really beautiful, fabulous products that I hope you consider next time you go makeup shopping. I hope you like this video. Do comment below your favourite product and let me know what you thought in the comments. Hit the like button as that really helps my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Please do subscribe for more and I will see you again next week. Bye!